Thank you very much, Dale. This is what we feel is maybe the, the best part of the dinner. And I have the privilege of introducing our first urban angel. How do you introduce a person like this? Let's see. Managing director, gospel singer, board chair, Harvard Business MBA, chair of the board of the Morgan Stanley Foundation, someone who also sits on the boards of the Food Bank for New York City, which by the way, she's made a wonderful commitment to us tonight because Carla is actually kind of doing double duty. She's a person that is known and one of the few individuals that I have met during my career who has effectively bridged both the world of the corporate boardroom and the world of the church in such a way and in such an authentic way that people know her to be the same person no matter where she is. You know people like that that are authentic? And now she is a book author. So for those of you who don't know Carla, Carla is also the author of a very, very well-received book called Expect to Win. And she's a person that continues to give back in so many different ways. She's a singer. You know, she's been on Carnegie, in Carnegie Hall, and she's cut two CDs. And more than that, for those of us here who know Carla Harris, we count her as a special friend. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you've got her whole bio, and it would take me a half an hour to read it all out. But I want to ask you to read your programs, and I want to honor my sister, Carla Harris. So on behalf of New York Theological Seminary, we present to you the Urban Angel Award for 2010. Well, good evening. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. It is sincerely an honor and a privilege for me to be here with you tonight to celebrate the work of New York Theological Seminary in its important mission of preparing women and men for the practice of ministry in our communities around the world. It is also an honor to be here in the company of my esteemed co-honorees, Ms. Hazel Dukes, my soror, Ms. Maria Elena Girone, the very Reverend Donna Riley, and the Council of Korean Churches of Greater New York. I must say that I never thought of myself as an urban angel. Yet, when I reflect on that term, it occurs to me that we are all, in one way or another, angels to somebody. In fact, it is our duty our responsibility as children of God to be angels to someone else. In fact, we should all recognize that it is a privilege to be used by him. No matter who we are, we all have power, resources, intelligence, and as my spiritual advisor, the Reverend Monsignor Wallace A. Harris puts it, we all have time, talent, and treasure that we are given by him that can be used by us to help somebody else. In fact, I've learned in my 40 years of life <laughs> that the way the equation goes is he gives, I get, I give. He gives more, I get more, I give more. You see, it is all about the multiplier effect. We must all use our time, our talent, and our treasure in a way that can be useful to somebody else in any way that we can. You want to, if you really want to multiply your power, multiply your influence, multiply your treasure, then give it away. For you see, 
It is not about what you do just for the one person or persons in front of you. It is about how they then invest the advice that you gave, the time that you gave, the money that you gave, the access that you gave, the encouraging word that you gave. It is about how they then, then will give it to someone else and create the multiplier effect on your one deposit in them. If you can be a blessing to someone else, then you will be blessed in ways that you can't imagine or even articulate today. God gives to us every day in ways that we can see and in ways that we don't even acknowledge. Our job is to give him our best every day and give of ourselves in the big ways and in the tiniest of ways wherever we can. So as I reflect, I suppose that's what being an angel is all about. And to the board of trustees of New York Theological Seminary, to my friend, Diane Ashley, and all of the other angels in the room tonight, I thank you for being the angels that you are and the angels that you will continue to be. Thank you.